College Algebra, Topic 3.5, graphing the piecewise function f equals 1 over x, the absolute value of x, and the square root of x. Here we're going to separate these three equations into y equals 1 over x, y equals absolute value of x, and y equals square root of x. And we're going to graph each one of these. Uh, let's see here. We'll graph them here. And we'll finish the graph there. Okay, the graph 1 over x, this is a um, inverse function, and it's graphed by using asymptotes here. This is x equals 0 asymptote, and this is y equals 0 asymptote. And the graph of this looks like this. It has the shape on the right, it's above. On the left, it's below. Now, how do we know that this makes this shape? This is one of the graphs that we memorize. In fact, these are three graphs that we memorize. They're called basic graphs. Okay. This graph right here, the absolute value, will be a V-shape. So it will go from here to here, and then back up again. And then finally, the square root of x, the square root of x, that shape looks like this. Okay, so those are our three graphs. Now, this one, because of the um, interval notation here, the domain restrictions, this one actually stops at x is negative 1. So this one stops at x equals negative 1. So when we put negative 1 in for x, we get negative 1, and so the stopping point is negative 1, negative 1. And this is for this shape right here. Negative 1, negative 1 is right about here. And that's a bracket, so this is going to be closed at negative 1, negative 1. Next, the absolute value. This actually starts at x is negative 1. So this one starts at x is negative 1, but it stops when x is 4. So when x is negative 1, we get y equals absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. So that starting point is negative 1, comma 1. It'll stop when x is 4, so we have y equals the absolute value of 4, which equals 4. So that'll stop at the point 4, comma 4. Okay. So it'll start at negative 1, 1 with an open circle. So here's 1, negative 1 right here. So we'll put an open there, 1, negative 1, 1. And then it'll stop right at 4, 4, which is way up here. And it'll be open as well. So open, and it'll stop right here at 4, 4. Okay, and finally here, this actually starts at x is 4. So this starts x equals 4. So I'll put y equals the square root of 4, which will get 2. And that starting point will be 4, comma, 2. And I'm sorry, too many parentheses. All right, so 4, comma, 2 for this curve right here will be right here. It'll be closed because of the bracket. So closed, and that's 4, comma, 2. All right, so let's rewrite all this. This curve right here stops at negative 1, 1, which is right here. So that curve will put the asymptotes in. Okay. This will stop right at negative 1, negative 1. This one starts at negative 1, 1, which is here. but stops at 4, 4. Okay. This line starts at 4, 2, which is right here. And it's closed. And it keeps going there. So this is your piecewise function with all the labels and the correct graphs.